All right, what's up everyone? I finally beat Eggman in Puyo Puyo Tetris in this Sonic Mania edition. And I had to record this after the fact because clearly it took me much longer to beat him than I thought. So you're getting two intros today. How do you like them apples? You should, because my name is Brian and I play Sonic Mania, but I'm really bad at it. And I'm recording this way after the fact and it actually, it's extremely difficult to play this game for me. I don't know why. Probably because I've never really played Sonic games before, so that probably has everything to do with it, right? Yeah, yeah, it does, so yeah, sorry about that, but hey, Eggman's defeated. Look at that. Take a little bit of fumbling around to try to get out of here, but that's the final boss. So there we go. Get that all done. Sonic got through Act 2. That's the final boss for that world, so we have a lot more time to go. Lots more bosses to go, and now, Brian, take the actual intro away for me. And now that we have that out of the way, the Puyo Puyo Tetris has been defeated. I can actually commentate now. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Brian, and we're in Studopolis Zone, which reminds me a lot of a casino and the time I went to Las Vegas, which was very interesting. I talked about that when I played Splatoon 2, but wow, is, is Las Vegas very bright. So we're going to be playing more Sonic Mania and hopefully not being absolute hot garbage at the game. Never a guarantee when I'm playing games, so you know what? We're just going to have to go through it together and see how it goes. So the Puyo Puyo Tetris that time wasn't as difficult as previous times, either because I got better or because I got lucky. And there's a special zone right here. All right, still don't really know how these are triggered, but you know what, that's all right. Now, if you hit the red spheres, you're gonna be getting a, uh, a game over of sorts, so you don't wanna do that. You wanna get all these coins, you wanna do all this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go over this way. Uh, going to the left, up here. And, okay, so I'm going, wait, hold on, nothing over here, all right. So now I can go over this way. These are kind of hard to get a grasp on where you're going. It's a very, like, circular area. It's not a very, um, you know, there's no map. There's no anything to follow. You just kind of have to improvise and guess. So that can be a little difficult if you don't have a, uh, a sense of where you are, a sense of direction. Now, the coins and the spheres are what you're going to want to get. And the, um... The coins and spheres, when you get them all, that's exactly what's going to be giving you a, uh, a gold ranking, and I failed the whole thing. Alright. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I thought it just bounced you a little bit, but I... Oh, that's an electrified microphone. Okay. Thank goodness microphones aren't actually like that, but uh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that, so whoops. Awesome! Yay! Ooh, this is cool. So, can I go in a pinball machine? Because that kind of looks like what I'm going to be doing. That would that would be really cool. Nope. Go this way. Go! Uh, no. Now you're going to want to go this way? I guess I'm still... I'm going to go this way. Alright, cool. Uh, no broken glass around here. I guess that's what they're saying. Ooh, I'm bouncing. I should just stay right here and keep getting 10 points all throughout the entire map. But you know what? That would be very uneventful. So I'm not going to do that. Ah, we're upside down. Okay. And do we want to go? Oh, I can't go over this way. I can go in here, though. Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop. Ooh. Cool. I poppity pop the popcorn. How entertaining and beautiful. Uh, let's go this way. What's down here? A chair for Eggman. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, I'm electrified. Oh, no, it brings all the uh, rings closer to you. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, launch me up, Batman. And now I'm on fire. I'm a fire. No, it's just the uh, the fire. It's not a fire electric combination. That'd be pretty cool, but it's not. Ooh, I'm in the TV. Now I'm famous on the TV as well as the internet. Don't you dare bother me. Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna wanna go, yes, exactly. Aha! And cut action. This is really cool. 
I don't know if this is based off of a, uh, a level. And I, I know Green Hill Zone is the typical first level of pretty much every single Sonic game ever. Wow, we went really fast that time. Um, of every Sonic game to ever exist. Oh, now you can do the homing attack. Okay. That, I guess, makes sense. Green Hill Zone is always the first, but I never really get past that point. And if I could stay over here, that would be really good. Um, I never get past, like, the first level, typically, so I don't know what, uh, what ha it has in store. Can I stay up here? Stay up here. I'm gonna go to the right side. It'll probably help me out. No, go! Go! Yes, there we go. Beautiful. Take all these rings. Did I get a 1-up? I better have gotten a 1-up. Close enough to it anyways. No! Uh, I need to get inside of there. I need all those rings. No! Uh, right here. Yes, there we go. Okay, now let's go! Ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but thank goodness it happened anyways. 200 rings! We're doing so well. Oh, Mr. Eggman! Oh! Mr. Eggtastic. How do I avoid you? I have no idea. Um, clearly hitting the missile isn't what I need to do. Um, how do I avoid that? How do I defeat him? Stood up with zone one. Okay, yep. Let's do that again. I should have gotten two lives, so at least we did that. Okay, so there's something on top there. Let's see if I, how, oh, maybe it's the blue one? Maybe I avoid the red one or and hit the blue one? Nope, well, that's not it. Uh, nope, that's not it either. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, nope. Yes, that is it. I thought it would be to get the blue one. Okay. So that's the point, you need to hit the blue one out of any of them. Oh, and they give you a couple rings, that's good too. So that way, in case you're doing pretty bad, that's not the case. Okay, so you have to hit the blue one and not the red ones. So avoid the red, avoid the red. And Mr. Blue, Mr. Blue Sky, please tell us why you had to hide away for so long. Okay, so that one randomly disappeared as we were trying to get it. Okay, we only have eight rings. Not much time to work with, but we need to get two more of these guys. We gotta take care of this guy with the bat, who has done nothing this entire time. There we go. All right, well, I got two rings. That's fine. All right, one more time. Or is it gonna be one of those things that he, uh, I have to do something else? Maybe not. And nope, it's the exact same thing as last time. I better not mess this one up. Uh, jump over. Jump over. Oh no, here, 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 here. Yes, there we go. That should take care of him. Yeah, there we go. You know what, although I have zero rings, that's quite okay. We have defeated that guy. Which I don't know what they're called. Dr. Robotnik's Robots. Let's call them that. Sure, I defeated all of them with a time bonus of only 100. And I had 200 rings at one point. And now, they're all gone. Studopolis Zone 2. There you go, Mr. Eggman. Thinking he can defeat me. I don't think he can. This camera is everywhere. This is really cool. Oh, this isn't the... So this isn't like a casino-type place. It looks like a casino-type place. I think we are gonna go to a casino level area soon. Well, there's only like two more levels, so it's either like the next one or the one after that, and that's it. I really couldn't make it all the way up there. Come on. Jump! Can I get inside there? I think I can. Or is it not gonna let me? Yeah, it's not gonna let me. Okay. So we gotta go... Uh, nope. Oh, no. That's that's not good. One. Can I? Two. And three. Yeah, there we go. All right. So at least we're taking our time going through the levels. We're not rushing through everything really quickly. Um, I wish we got through and did a big ring thing. 
big ring thing, a, uh, a big ring minigame. That would be really cool. I haven't seen any big rings this, uh, this remaining portion of the level. I haven't seen any other gameplay either. I've only seen people playing through the first level. Everything beyond that. Ooh! What's this? Pinball? Is it pinball? No, it's not pinball. It looks like pinball, but not quite. I want to encounter at least one more special level before we go. Um, yes, there we go. Okay, so there's a swirling, like, uh, uh, pixie dust thing up there. I saw it. So that's exactly what I need to look for. And if it doesn't have it, then that's probably not an area I can access for a, uh, a special area. So that's helpful. And should I go for 100% with the coins and stuff? I mean... I don't know if I can go back and do them, so, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna actually even go back and do them anyways, so, because, like, the Sonic game, I, I don't know, I think you just get a secret ending, which the secret ending isn't even really all that crazy. There's actually an interesting theory about it, though, that, uh, this, this game here, Sonic Mania, in some way does go and, uh, takes place immediately before Sonic Forces happens. Oh! So that's what this does. Okay. Uh, so you have to change your direction. That's a jump thing. That's a jump thing. Cool. And where am I going now? Over here? Nope. I need to go this way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a theory that it actually leads right into the newer Sonic game coming out in just a couple of months here, which I should be playing through. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I'm not, again, the craziest Sonic fan of all time. Can we? There we go. All right. So I managed to reverse myself. That's pretty crazy. And I have no idea where I'm going. So sorry about that. Oh, right here. Nope, that's it. Okay, that's done. Well, that was a good try. Definitely a good try. So, oops. Okay, so, wow. All right, come out of nowhere, why don't you? Jeez, okay. Um, we're going, oh. I didn't think that would happen. So, we got the DNA being showcased. Go. Wow, I, I clearly bounced right on top of him. Go, supersonic speed. Beautiful. Okay, so there's nothing above there, so that doesn't count as a special. I don't know what does count as a special. I will probably have to either look that up or just go with it. I'm probably just going to go with it. So if you're looking for a uh, informative gameplay commentary sort of thing, you are obviously looking in the wrong place, but that's always been the case. If you're, if you're looking for something crazy and, you know, special... And unique you've, you've come to the right place but the, uh, the super informative gameplay commentary sort of stuff you know I don't go for a hundred percent I don't go for all the little bonuses and secrets there are people out there that do that much better than I ever could and ever will so I highly recommend well I don't highly recommend them I think you should stay here I hate that you, you randomly change direction every single has a special you randomly change direction every single time. This one's gonna be hard. This one's gonna be a lot more difficult because of that. Yep, there we go, done. All right. Now, as you go through the levels, you really gotta plan out exactly where you're going. You can't just kinda wing it and figure it out afterward. You gotta really know exactly where you're going. All right, so we're going, nope. I. Oh, I guess we are going that way. Hey, oh, pinball. Oh, it's the lottery. Don't gamble, kids. Gambling is not good. We have seven, seven, three, three. That's two doubles. 20. That works, right? I'd say that works. Oh, we just missed it. No. Where are we going from here? We're going all the way around. That's not what I planned on doing. Okay. Go back this way, and then all the way down. Nope, I didn't get enough momentum. Ah, oh, come on. Go. Now back down this way. Come on. Give me that momentum. Hold it down, and go. Go. Hold down B, launch. 
Nope. Okay. All right. There we go. And now, is this toward the end? It's only been a couple minutes. I haven't seen any big rings. I want another big ring. You know what? I'm not even going to go for that special. I'm just going to keep on going. Hey, Mr. Eggman. Egg TV. Hey, bucko. Going to bump him, boop him from right here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, look at that. I'm already booping him. Boop. Boopity. Boop. I'm, I'm like really getting to him right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am floating. Oh, there's a bar right there. Oh, thankfully, I held on to the bar. Excellent. And is that it? Because we didn't get to properly demonstrate the boss battle at all, and I'm so sorry about that. Yep, that's kind of it. Well, that's unfortunate. But hey, there we go. We thought it got through Act 2 of Pseudopolis. An easy Eggman. Like, that was the easiest Eggman fight, I think, ever in the history of anything. Because he was just out of range. Or rather, just in range of the, uh... Of, of getting destroyed. 